This Teachable Moment is brought to you by the Jewish Healthcare Foundation and the Pittsburgh Regional Health Initiative. Traditionally, behavioral health care has been completely siloed from physical health care. Children's Community Pediatrics, with 12,000 behavioral health visits in one year, utilizes a collaborative team approach to get kids to the appropriate level of care as quickly as possible. Well, um, we've been seeing a lot of you recently, yes, Emily? We've had a lot of testing done, and as you know, so far everything has come up uh, uh, normally, which is a good thing. Yes. So the question is, why are you still having the stomach aches? Unfortunately, the only real answer we have left is that emotionally right now, you're probably undergoing some stress. Traditionally in the United States, mental health care has been completely siloed from physical health care. They're reimbursed differently, the training is different. Uh, there was very little, if any, communication across uh, specialties between mental health and physical health. And it was quite frustrating for families, pediatricians, psychiatrists, therapists alike. The pediatricians really uh, led the call and said, we need something and we want psychiatry involved. The leadership at Children's Community Pediatrics and Children's Hospital and called WIPIC in well. to work along with them so that we could create a leadership team to figure out um, how to link these systems together. It's really about raising the comfort level of physicians to be able to handle this a little bit themselves, but knowing they have the safety net of a collaborator in their office. Right. Now, when a pediatric provider sees a family and a parent, a mother or father says, my child is having worry or is having trouble in school, they can ask a few questions to get more information and then they can enter that information into our integrated medical record where they can directly send that information and the chart of that child to the behavioral health care provider who is in their setting. So when the patient comes in to see the behavioral health care provider, they can pull up the chart, pull out the specific form that shows why the pediatrician was concerned or why the parent was concerned and talk to the pediatrician. So Dr. Diamond thought that I might be helpful. And it sounds like there was some worries or some things were happening that he thought maybe behavioral health might be helpful and that you weren't wanting to play soccer much anymore. I don't want to go. Sometimes we can get her into the car and to practice, but then mm -hmm. she doesn't want to get out. What's useful when you have a behavioral health care provider on site is that they can help sort out what interventions need to occur. Our goal is uh, to get kids to the appropriate level of care as quickly as possible. I think about the number of things that have happened in the pediatric offices since we've started doing this that I would have never, I'd be, I would have been amazed 10 years ago if you would have told me we're doing depression screenings mm -hmm. on all these adolescents. We had over 12,000 visits last year, up over 20% from the previous year. We have a 90% show rate compared to a 50 to 70% show rate for standalone community behavioral health services. So the silo is gone um, and we're communicating not only about physical health problems but medical problems and how they all interact.